New shooter coverage of IBC 2023 is sponsored by Atlas Lens Co., Atomos, Sennheiser, and b &H. I'm Eric Nasa with NewShooter.com and I'm at IBC 2023. I'm at the Atomos booth and I'm with Trevor. How's it doing? How you doing, Trevor? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. It's Terrific. great. It's great to be here. Traffic's pretty good. It is pretty good. Exciting first day. Exciting first day. So we have a few things, a few new things going on, and one of them is a big one that works with all your recorders. Let's talk about it. Yeah, Adam OS 11. We um, introduced new Ninjas last month, the Ninja and the Ninja Ultra, and the core part of those new products was Adam OS 11. We've spent months developing it, came out on Ninjas last month, and this month we're bringing it out onto the, onto the Shogun series as well. So we've got a couple of new monitors, the Shogun, Shogun Ultra, they mirror the Ninja and the Ninja Ultra, Seven inch versions of the of the ninjas integrate, but with integrated um, uh, networking and yeah. much brighter screens. But the real the real story is what underpins these products, which is OS 11. Whole bunch of new features. We brought brought updated monitoring, so now we're supporting industry standard uh, ARRI false colors and EL zone false colors Very nice. for the first time, which everybody will be appreciative of. It's yes. been something we've been hassled for for a while. Yeah, we've listened to people; they're coming out. <laughs> Um, a whole bunch of other features, we've a whole, a whole bunch of um, scheduling features, scheduled playback and record so you can time when things start. That extends to on the record side to time lapse. Um, we've brought a whole bunch of new uh, networking features, Wi Fi 6 across the range now. So that the base models, the Shogun and Ninja, get Wi Fi 6, and the big brothers, the Ultra, the Ninja Ultra, and the Shogun Ultra. Uh, get Wi-Fi 6E, which is the latest and greatest, highest performance Wi-Fi on the planet. <laughs> which is really, really going to help power those camera to cloud workflows yes. that, um, that we've started to talk about. And one of the biggest new features on uh, OS 11 is something we're calling Remote View. And Remote View is basically remote monitoring, mm -hmm. so that you can be separate from um, uh, the camera, remote production crews or directors or clients can be not on set, uh, and this, is, this is all done via the open internet, via the cloud. Mm -hmm. And what Remote View allows is, it's a four input, four output system. So you can have four cameras, any, any one of our connect devices connected to a camera can be one of the inputs to the system. Each of those four outputs can go to either one of our connected devices or to an iOS device. So iPhone, uh, iPad, Apple TV. And then you can connect all of those. You can connect all of those outputs independently. So you could have a four input, four up quad view going to an Apple TV. A director could be sitting there with an iPad having a look at one of the cameras. You could have someone else with a side by side view running on one of our devices. And the really nice thing about this too is that if if the feed is going to one of our devices, we we output that signal over either HDMI or SDI. The nice thing about SDI is what that allows you to do is so the signal's coming remotely over the internet to the device out SDI and all of a sudden you've got a remote camera coming into say an SDI switch mm. so you can bring remote cameras into traditional switch switching infrastructure. So there's a lot of new stuff going on under the hood with OS 11. I mean you've got to keep up with the technology that you're inputting into these devices so it's important to have those updates. Absolutely and you know the, the, the overwhelming feedback we're getting from our customers, they just want flexibility, they want options. And since COVID, the big thing is people want, to, want flexible working options. Whether you're on set, sometimes not working on set with people, you want these flexible connectivity options to get the job done. Mm. I've always liked your OS. Uh, when you first introduced it, it was really kind of a big deal because a lot of monitors, and affordable monitors, had basically horrible operating systems. It was a, kind of a almost a, an engineering type of menu system and uh, so it, it being uh, evolving over time and just keeps getting better and I, uh, those those new features are, are a big deal and I'm sure that the users were asking for them. Absolutely and uh, you, look, you raise a really good point when we when we first launched our products it was kind of the iPhone mo moment for yeah. um, camera mounted monitors we really wanted that intuitive touchscreen sort of uh, experience for users where as you say before that you had to use you know, buttons go th 10 levels deep into a into oh. a menu. People hated that. We brought that, as I say, that iPhone experience to, to our devices and we've just reinforced that with the latest version of OS 11. It's cleaner, it's simpler, 
it's more modern looking. The interface is a little bit more muted, so it's sort of what it really allows is for the interface to get out of the way a little bit, and it really allows the images, those really great images coming from the camera to really shine. And the update is free for uh, existing users? So the uh, OS 11 is, is, is exclusively available on the new products. Okay. So it's not available uh, for, for example, on old Ninjas. It's only, ex it's, it's exclusively on the new Ninjas, but it is available as an upgrade for Shogun Connect customers. And uh, what would the price be for the upgrade? Uh, it's free. Oh, okay, so there, the, there is the up, one. The upgrade is free for Shogun Connect, but okay. not available to the uh, old Ninja 5. Uh, uh, excuse me, so, yeah. and that has to do probably with hardware limitations? It is, the, the new Ninjas are a brand new platform, and actually they're, the, they're, they're now on the same platform as, as the Shoguns, so that's well, why that unfortunately sense. it's not, not available to Ninjas. Okay, thanks a lot Trevor. That's my pleasure. <laughs>